Well, the strong winds may be gone, but the impacts of the damage left behind are sticking around. In Lake Forest, a large tree fell onto several townhomes, displacing at least two families. NBC4's Amber Free is live with the cleanup and what happens next. Amber. Hey, good afternoon. Well, the tree fell yesterday morning, but the cleanup continues out here. Crews were out all morning long working to remove the tree, and they were able to do that. Now they have most of it chopped up on the side, as you can see. Now, we did get some rain just a few minutes ago in the area, so it's unclear how that will impact the cleanup efforts. But let's take a look at this at these homes and just the damage they sustained, especially this first home you see right here. The tree took out that front front wall on the second floor. We can see into this person's home and then the home right next to it also suffered severe damage. The third home on the other side got it all on the roof. Now the good thing is that despite all this damage, no one was injured. The fire department has asked people living in these three homes though to find somewhere else to stay. After living in Lakeside Park for over 14 years, Agustin Lopez says he had gotten used to the way the tree surrounding his home swayed every time the wind blew. I feel safe. That is, until his sense of security was shattered by a force of nature he did not see coming. It never happened before, so it's kind of scary. On Wednesday, gusty winds brought down at least two trees in the Lake Forest neighborhood, one of them falling over Lopez's town home and two others. I laid down and all of a sudden, uh, things started to fell down the, from the walls and uh, shaking a lot and uh, kind of uh, the noise, very profound noise. Lopez's home suffered the least damage. His neighbors were nearly destroyed. There were no injuries reported. But all three homes were red tagged by the fire department, warning those who lived in them to stay out. Still, Lopez and his roommates chose to stay. I have no place to go, so I have to stay. I want to stay here. Meanwhile, as the cleanup efforts continue, neighbors are still grappling with the aftermath. It was awful, you know, because it can be our house. Serving as a stark reminder of nature's unpredictability. The, the wind really blows hard yesterday. And the importance of being prepared for the unexpected. Now, Lopez rents the town home he's currently living in, and he tells us the owner uh, has told him that he's informed the insurance and that they're just waiting on next steps. Now, we also reached out to the homeowners association that overlooks this area, but they declined to comment. Reporting live from Lake Forest, Amber Frias, NBC4 News.